Dear participants, I think we can all agree that one of the major challenges we are facing today is the health of seas, oceans and marine resources. But the world also needs healthy seafood, as well as growth and jobs in coastal areas. So, while the world needs to preserve genetic biodiversity, we also need to ensure the industry's viability and protect those who make their living from fishing. The only solution to these conflicting interests is a new approach to fisheries management. One approach that strikes a balance between the need to protect fishing communities and the need to keep fish stocks at sustainable levels. Research and science are essential to such an approach. Knowledge is the key to sound decisions and to effective management measures. The more we know about a species of fish, the more our decisions will be spot on and beneficial to it. This symposium marks an important step in this direction. Between 2002 and 2007, over 200,000 tropical tunas were tagged. Over 30,000 were recovered in the context of the Indian Ocean tuna tagging program. The information gathered through these tags give us remarkable insights into the population dynamics of this valuable species, insights that the project scientists are now going to share with you and with fisheries managers, scientists, industry and civil society around the world. The new knowledge will be useful to the whole marine scientific community. I am particularly proud of this result because the program was largely funded by the European Development Fund. I have no doubt that it will help, help us achieve our common goal to preserve tropical tunas through sound management decisions and sustainable fishing practices. As the European market for fisheries products is in value the largest in the world, it is our responsibility to ensure that fish is sustainably and legally harvested. We are currently changing our own fisheries policy to make it more sustainable. And we plan to apply the same principles also outside European waters. But to do so, we need the help of our partners in regional fisheries management organizations. This program and its success would have been possible without such cooperation. I would therefore like to thank all those who have contributed to this initiative. Scientists, fisheries managers, fishermen and others. I'm sure this will remain a milestone in the work of the Indian Ocean Tuna Commission for some time. Let's hope that similar projects will follow with equally promising results. I wish you all a fruitful symposium and look forward to its results.